Well, uh, okay, I'm totally okay with that. It's just it's it's that this is actually the voice range I, I try to get to most of the time. Oh, I, okay. I I just don't get there half the time. <laughs> yeah, we are live, by the way. Hi guys, I saw Hello. that. Yeah. Hi world. Hello. World. Hello world. <laughs> So yeah, yeah. So I mean, this is this is kind of, this this is the range I I typically try to get to. Except you know, if you don't get hydrated enough or you don't get get well well rested mm -hmm. enough, uh -huh. it's going to be a little bit higher than higher than that. It's going to be whatever you use in your daily life, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is actually the kind of range I try to get to. Uh -huh. I try to get to. No, I've seen some of your uh, your voiceover stuff, and it's it's oh, good. Cool. I like it. I, I try. Like it. I enjoy it. I try. Thank you. Anyway, yeah. that's one of the reasons I use your I use your stream as like background noise because mm. you've got a good list to, a voice to listen to. I, yeah, yeah. And I I just need to be more consistent because I, as a mm. stream goes further <laughs> further on, it it just drops. <laughs> it just mm. drops. Mm. Uh, but anyway, so this is our first time uh, in. Twitch only. It's not. I don't think it's the first time. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I don't think it's the oh, first Twitch. time we've done. Uh, like we streamed to Twitch because I think mm. I think there was one time I did both. Like I I, I may have done a dual stream with YouTube and Twitch at the same time, but yeah. not Twitch only, which is what we're doing today. Which we're doing today. This is exclusive, guys. Oh my God! You put up the the one of the the frog with the crown i didn't notice that i thought you put up the other one no no this is the one you this this is the one you have on there oh yeah That's it's fine. the it's whichever one is put into your um what is that website called that I, that active png one. it's I, I don't i'm not exactly sure but this is what you this is what you left in there so <laughs> works for me <laughs> you may have used this when we were doing a way out last time i don't i don't remember ah uh, maybe no maybe. no i used it no, i don't it matter it doesn't matter <laughs> but it, was, it just shocked me because I, I love frog. the pet clap clap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot I'm the pet frog. You are the you are technically the pet frog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. Anyway, so let's do a little introductions. Welcome everyone uh, to the Mahjong Video Podcast. And if you if you haven't been here before, my name is Ruka. And as usual, we have Teacher Amy. Hi guys. And Monotok, uh, otherwise known as Frog King Monotok. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <Yes. laughs> I am the king. You are the king. <laughs> <laughs> so tip, so normally when we do on this podcast, it's just uh, play Mahjong and talk about whatever so, stuff that happened, stuff that we just kind of want to share. I think we tried to do a, a few themed talks before but uh which mm -hmm. it's mostly going to be a little of a free flow it's going to be mostly free flow for now yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and yeah. if you mm -hmm. have not uh joined us before as far as uh in this podcast you can also make comments to us and a will depending on the conversation we'll you know we'll, we'll respond <laughs> also uh you can also join us in the game once we actually start get when we, once we actually start going here so yeah okay battle of Asura is still around what did we do last time did we do Ooh. a normal game or did we did we, we do a zoo i think we did I think it was i think we did, both. Think we did both. battle of Asura, or at least we did one game or did we i don't know i don't remember. I feel like we did a normal game last time i feel like we did a normal game last time so maybe i'm down for whatever yeah, maybe. Okay, sure, sure. Sure. That... Anything, yeah. All right, I guess we'll do a sewer for this time. We'll we'll try to oh. switch off. <clears throat> the, oh, yeah, I did get Monotok VIP. I, I, the VIP stuff, uh, I, I don't know how people tend to use that in Twitch. Uh, uh, it just means I can, I can, you, it highlights my thing on your, your overlay, mm -hmm. and I can spam. You can spam. I can oh, spam, baby. You can spam as much as you like. What kind no, of I will, but I hey, I withhold that power for important times. Oh my okay? god, it's so cute! It's so cute. <laughs> what What do you mean by spam? What kind of spam are we talking about? Like I can spam the like emotes like over and over again, or I can spam a message like over and over and over oh, again it, and not get timed out. Oh, can you not? Oh, can you not do? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I mean, like a moderator could time me out, but mm, it's, it's just one of those things. I see. Okay, so you're not quite mod, but, but uh, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. I am not mod 
mod worthy. Yeah. Well, I guess I am mod worthy. I'm a mod worthy. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, great. You got you. What 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 did what did the fire hands come from? The little I, fire hands are so cute. I found it in a in which call it in just the little emotes that you can do on Twitch. Okay, so uh -huh. so it's a public emote. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's a public yeah. emote. Yeah, I just it just so happened that like OS Frog is a Twitch emote for like something super overpowered or, or some something like that. And oh, then you really? also get these little fire hands. Yeah. Okay. I, but, I, but I was just like, it's a cute frog, and it, it fits me perfect. I, I, I still, ooh, ooh. I still don't know all the what all the um, <clears throat> what do you call it? All these Twitch emotes um signify. Like there's, I know there's there's, oh, there's a, so many. There, there's a lot <laughs> that dictionary, bro. I mean, there's a lot that people use for like, mo like a lot of stuff. Like I know Pog. I, I know, I kind of know Monkas. I'm not, I'm, not I'm not I'm not I'm not even really sure what Monkus means. <laughs> Monkus is like it's something that's scary that's happening. Is it? You're like yes. in shock. Yes. You're shocked. Yes. As as a Twitch viewer for the past eight months. Yeah, this, this that's what it means. Okay. I mean th then to learn all the stuff too, dude. <laughs> I mean there's a lot of these that that are kind of um what do you call this? Intuitive. Like I think I kinda know what kappa is. This one kappa means like uh I'm not serious. Yeah, not I serious. I'm yeah. Or the one like the most one of the more famous ones is the Pog Champ, the Komodo hype thing. Yeah. Uh, that uh. one is just like gamer move, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I, I've seen that. They used to be something else until they changed it. Yeah, they did change it from from the whatever. It the was green. a guy. Yeah. It was a guy. It was a guy. All right. Well, I guess we'll just get started here. So. Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, let me just I challenge you to a d -d 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 duel. Duel. D -d 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 -duel. duel. <laughs> uh, is my audio balanced with with your guys? I I wonder uh, if anyone is in the chat. Oh yeah, can tell it, us. it's in, it's impossible for me to figure out if if everyone's it's hard, right? Someone's got to tell us how to, if it's balanced or not, because otherwise mm -hmm. it just it just doesn't work. But yes, um, let's go. If you have any other questions on the emotes, please, please ask me. I, I, oh, yeah, I maybe you can tell us about useless it. useless knowledge that I have. I think Monk is yeah, really is the only one that I'm curious about. Just because it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> it doesn't make any this sense. This one, Dan's game, it's like, just, that means something like really, really gross. What? What? Yeah. I don't, I mean, I, I've seen it used in like... Oh, what, what, what do you call this? It's like just... Um, I don't have any Monkas stuff. Oh, there we go. I, I was wondering why I couldn't hear any music. There we go. Oh, yeah, that guy. Okay, I didn't know the name of that, but I've seen that. Okay. I've seen that let me get Let me get this started. Okay, so let me get the link. That means something super grody. Mm -mm. Oh, uh, 73702. Yeah, oh... I need to also probably update the join command. I I did have a I do have. I should a... use one of these characters I got. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, your, yeah. Let's see your new so characters. Oh guys, wait! No, I want you to see the one that I wanted before we start. Can we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You know why I wanted it? You'll see. You'll see her, and you'll know. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's in. Oh, I guess you can't see on my screen. Not... No, you won't. It's in Summer Mirage, which is like a limited one. And then there's a glasses character. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to show us in game. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could no, I couldn't get her. I got two other ones. Man, I, I'm kind of not wanting to roll again in Mahjong Soul for now because. Heck no, not after oh, your lucky streak. It, yeah, it almost a hundred bucks. How, how much did I say? Yeah, dude, I wouldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to save that cash for something else. Like, I, I can't afford rolling another character just yet. <laughs> right. I will say this. I've had Seven. to get a lot of new exercise equipment, and mm -hmm. that stuff ain't cheap either. Oh, yeah. I'm actually surprised how expensive exercise equipment is. Oh, yeah. nice. Very nice. <laughs> The character I have is all sexy. And <laughs> hey, nothing is wrong with that. Funny girl? Uh, it's a funny girl. Yeah, it's, it's technically a I'm bunny a bunny. girl. Bunny girl that kind of looks like a nun-ish, I a guess. Nun, yeah, I get. I but get the like, nun 
a nun that's breaking free of her <laughs> her, her like strict upbringing and is not wild. Apparently. <laughs> well, I mean it's 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 a very loose uh, what do you call this um, dress order. Yeah, it's a loose order. A very loose order. I'm choking on my drink here because. <laughs> I was like, are you calling me loose? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you drinking tonight? Hmm? I, I was asking, what are you drinking tonight? This is the monster. The monster. Oh, the monster. oh you're actually drinking a monster. You. Are you actually drinking a monster? <laughs> I am. How about you, Montauk? What are you yeah. drinking tonight? I have Coors Light and water. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I do have water. It's uh, warm water, though. So... Beer, beer. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm try I did a lot a of drinking, night. like, last week, because I went to, like, a party. I went to, like, a birthday party, and I had a friend come visit um, and stay with me for about a week or so. So nice. I'm, like, mm. trying to control myself now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, actually, yeah, I guess yeah. you had leftover beer from when your friend was over? Is that what, yeah. is that what happened? Like, um, also, she just happened to be there... And then, like, that birthday party was, like, a couple days after. So I kept mm. accumulating stuff, too. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> All right, let's just put My in a... My friend's fridge has some drinks in it still. Let's just put in some AI for now. Before, cool. While people mm. probably come in, yeah. What oh. is the character's name, Amy? What is her name? Oh, my gosh, it's, like, Javi or something. Oh, I can't, uh... I guess I can't look at it, can I? Uh, Kavi, C A. I think you can change it from here. Kavi. Wait. Let's see. Mahjong... I'm just gonna try to Google it. Limited edition. I'm just gonna say like Mahjong Soul Limited Edition. I guess that's gonna be all kinds of things. Bunny oh. Girl. Bunny character. <laughs> bunny. bunny. <laughs> that does remind me that I think they do have limited edition skins right now, which uh. Summer in limited edition skins. I know so many bikinis. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Gonna have to look at that later. Yeah. Who is this character? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? Why can't I find this character? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to look at that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that is that so? Well, I guess I guess you haven't heard me speak like that before, but it's contextually. Contextually, yeah. Let's... Now we are seeing. Or not contextually. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm a guy yeah. too, okay? I'm gonna get it. I'm Makes a guy. Sense. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't True. realize I was the only one who wasn't ready. No, you're fine. You're fine. Good, I thought you were still look, checking <gasps> some stuff, so you weren't ready. All right, let's get started. Yeah, here. we'll have to find out in a sec. <laughs> Whoa! Well, here's your preview, Ruka. What? Here's your preview. Preview of what? Oh my gosh! On your screen, it's not bikinis. It, oh! It is. On my screen, it's bikinis right now. The, on my well, screen, me, it's like it's Christmas or party, some kind of party. It's a, it a, mine looks like a party as well. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, pulling a little tab. Why yeah, did I yeah, get that one. Bikinis. <laughs> hey, they're advertising, man. They're hitting all audiences. Yeah. They're <laughs> Oh, I need to check. Yeah, it's like right, right, bunny girl in the background and everything. Let's see it. Oh, there's a cat girl. I need to turn off my never, never mouse forget capture. The cat girls, man. I'm okay with cat girls. It's it's not like all cat girls. They have, they have to be like mm. certain personalities with like with a cat girl thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you gave me Nekopara right now, I'd be like, okay, it's it's fine, it's fine. I know a lot of people like Nekopara because it's cute. But it's I don't like know what Nekopara is. It's a visual novel about cat girls. Oh. It is literally oh. My yeah. Mahjong Soul just crashed. Oh no. Oh, that's probably why it's hanging. Maybe. Do we need do do we need to restart? Oh wait. Nope, 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 nope. Here you are, back here in. you are. Okay. Nice. That was uh, sorry about that guys. It no still problem. it still shows you as disconnected in my end. Oh, oh. Yeah, it does. Fail to retrieve connection oh. information. Should we restart? Ah, uh, there's okay. So it's a it's a cycling wallpaper because now I have the uh, the summer bikini girls. Oh. I see. I see. Oh. I wonder how many wallpapers are out right now, like they cycle through. Because that, that's the only one I've seen. The party one. Well, Ruka, you'll you'll find out later. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out later. I guess. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, this is not Luca, working. Luca, I right. think maybe mm. maybe you do need to turn your mic down again. Sorry. Okay, I'll turn it down on Discord. Uh, but I think it should be okay in... Oh, in OBS it's okay. In, it's oh, I, I hope it's okay in OBS unless uh, someone's not telling us um, something. Yeah. Because mm -mm. I, I really don't know I'll how it's... Of... I don't know how it sounds like uh, through OBS, but yeah. I'm I'm changing browsers for my Maj, uh, for Mahjong Souls. So okay. Let's see if this. I'm. Okay. Yeah. I usually play. I think it's just gonna auto play for you and then. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I usually use an emulator for mine. It's... So. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I just play mine through the. An emulator. Yeah, I use an emulator. Yeah. What is it? Is the one with the the stuff what? stacked on top of each other? I can't remember. Well, uh, you can blue use. Stacks. There's blue stacks. There's also uh, Nox. There's also LD player. I think those are the three main ones that I know of. Hmm. But yeah, I'm using I'm using Blue Stacks because uh, there was another game that I streamed once in a while that it just works better with Blue Stacks. So Blue Stacks is what I'm using. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's why why do you run it through an emulator instead of doing it through the browser? Uh, let's see. Why would I do that actually? Is it more just easier for you? It's easier for me. Yeah. It's just easier for me in general because if I do it through a browser, uh, it, it, I can't like do a screen capture. I mean, I can, but then mm. it, mm. I know, I don't know. It just kind of messes up a little bit. So, I, mm. so that's why I'm using a emulator instead. It's easier oh for me to God, adjust. Just turn down that. Oh look! Oh, Luka, what is your reach thingy? It's a it's spell cute. book, I think. Oh, oh that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> it was that the cheap? AI, Are you serious? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay. I thought I thought that was me winning off someone. That's the AI winning off me. Mm -hmm. Never mind. It was, yeah. Oh. Um. Anyway, how's it how's it been going with you guys? Um for the past few weeks. I think it's been about three weeks mm -hmm. since we did this last. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, well, like I said, I had my friend <coughs> staying with me. That was a friend who was also an assistant language teacher in Japan and lived ah. in the same oh, building nice. as me. Yeah, it was a reunion. But I, I had seen her since then, but Excuse not since yourself. COVID. <gasps> Wow. How much did I hit for? Eight? Was, was it, it eight thousand? Was it eight thousand? Looks like eight thousand. You hit me hard enough, is what you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like we just hung out a lot. We were both doing a little bit of work as well. Um, played board games with people. It was really fun. I see. I hmm. <clears throat> oh, we played Spirit Island. How did oh. you like it? No, oh you my told me you loved it. You told me you liked it. Yeah, Spirit, yeah. Yeah. Spirit Island. It, What's Spirit it Island? Too long with six people. <laughs> <laughs> it was all day. I was so exhausted at the end. <laughs> oh, is this a board game? It's a board yeah. game. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Well, ex it's a pretty fun board game. Explain, explain to us uh, who haven't played it before what kind of board game this is, because I've, I, I myself never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. Um, it's like it's a cooperative board game where you and all the other players are trying to like occupy territory on different tiles and push out the enemy invading which is, which is yeah, invading, invading people okay right. so so this a little colonist. bit so this, this is a little bit different <laughs> colonist or, or are you the colonist no, no we're no, no, spirit no. you play a spirit colonist. of the island ah yeah okay let me like and they have really cool names as well Mm -mm. Let me let me try to look up Spirit Island names. Okay. Spirit Island names. Yeah, like, am I hosting you, Ruka? Really interesting. What? I'm pretty sure I'm hosting you, right? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen any noti notifications about it. Okay, I'm gonna double check. Okay, yeah. So like the the character names are like Lightning Swift Strike, Shadows Flicker Like Flame, 
Mm, mm, mm. Many minds move as one. That it was a river. <laughs> so this. Oh, what was it? You played as river surges in sunlight. Yes, river surges in sunlight. Mm -hmm. And then I was like drowning people. <laughs> yep. So this kind of sounds like. Uh, I mean, the names sound very like uh, native or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Think about like reverse settlers of Catan. Reverse yeah. settlers of Catan. Okay. Mm -mm. Somebody finally came up with that idea. Actually, I don't. I wonder like if there are other games that have use that because usually you are the colonist aren't you yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's pretty brilliant to just totally switch it and it's so easy it's so it's easy such, it's such a simple <laughs> concept except it's so pure yeah yeah like there were things like my my moves were things like flooding them out or like maybe rain would wash away their stuff i'm not sure i can't mm. remember like all my exact moves but then some people would specialize in like um blighting in, blight in like removal. Blight, blight removal, removal yeah because like the land is blighted by these colonists i see mm -hmm. and then like you can set up little like command stations i guess they're kind of like um around the the different territories uh for each of your um characters so what are they called they're called something specifically oh gosh Amy, no. do you remember what they're called? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're like... Sacred they... Sites. Huh? They're called Sacred Sites. That's sacred what it is. Sites. Yeah, but there's like another... I thought there was a mm -hmm. special name for the little shrines. <laughs> I can't remember. Let me see. Oh yeah, Rukai, I'm, I am hosting you. Good, good. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for that. Hey, how does the audio quality sound? <laughs> it sounds like I said. I, uh, to me, you guys sound okay, but I really okay, don't me, know. I'm gonna listen on my phone. Maybe just just one second here. Sure. Uh... I guess we need to say something. I, blah, su blah, I suppose. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, one 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 at a time. Uh, Montauk first. Yes, this is me saying something. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. And then I, I guess uh, this is the my normal uh, speaking speaking sound. I feel like we sound fine, but maybe Ruka and I are a little louder than Montauk. So I, but I think he I, sounds good. I, we should turn ourselves down a little. I already turned Montauk up all the way. Mm -mm. Yeah, you did. So we should be down just the tiniest bit, I think. Ooh, that's gonna, Maybe. That's gonna be a little... <sighs> I'm gonna turn down my mic volume just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Okay, you, 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 okay, you do it on your end. Yeah. There, just a tiny oh, bit. Uh, let's timber. see. Maybe I'll go down half a decibel on my end. No! Fart okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Well, I've got. Like, I'm trying to finish out my hand, and it's not good. I'm gonna go down half a decibel. Hopefully, that's gonna you sound be. Sound good. You sound good. Yeah, this is. Nice. Is it, ba oh, is it bounced? Is it bounced? Hard champ. No, I, I don't need to change anything on my end. No, you're good now. Okay. All right. I haven't. I haven't. Uh... Are you listening through OBS? So, I mean, are you th listening through Discord? Are you listening through? Oh, I'm listening through Discord. Yeah, it, whatever you hear in Discord. I realized, I realized after I said it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever you hear in Discord is not going to be what we hear through nope. Twitch. So. Mm. Okay. Oh gosh darn it! Gosh darn it! Okay. Guess Amy is the one checking through Twitch. Um, I think it, like if you've already turned down a tiny bit, it's probably going to be fine. I we were really close. I haven't turned down anything yet. Hmm. I would turn it down half a decibel. All right, I'll turn it down by a half. Yeah. I'll just put a filter down by half. Audio bouncing, very tough. Always tough. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, crap, I don't want to get rid of any of this. Let's... I got a new tile back. It's some kind of ghost cat. Ghost cat? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like... With a blue flame behind him, a ghostly flame. Oh, is this uh, one of those um, yokai watch things? 
What are you talking about? I don't know. Kai watch? I don't think it's a yokai watch thing. It's to do with the theme that has the same character I'm using, I think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I would... I thought you went something. Yeah, I thought you you meant something like an actual physical object that you had right now. Oh no 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 no! The backs of my mahjong tiles. Ah, I see. I wish I could see everyone's um setup. I just yeah. yeah. I have a very poor setup. My Do you? my stuff is still basic. <laughs> my yeah. my stuff is basic my too. So is, no no no. I have a I have a bone for my Ricci stick. Hmm. But yeah. Anyway, Montauk, what have you been up to? So, I think I was like one week into that uh, Olympic class I was taking when the last time we talked. Yes. So I finished yeah. off the class. Oh, it was uh, and, uh, it was only for a few weeks. It was only like a three week. Oh, gosh darn it! That would have given. Okay. Uh oh. It was only th yeah. I threw away like look at my, look at my top. Yeah, I, I, I see fives. I see your fives. Right. Mm. So anyway, um, it was it was good. I actually finished it out. Um and the gym that i'm going to now actually has the bumper plates that are needed uh for that kind of lifting so i can uh, i can actually go i've been doing it at the my normal gym which has been kind of fun uh people look at you weird when you oh when you do stuff like that when yeah. you when, when you do what when you do like a, a type of specialized lifting yeah like people just stare at you and uh, oh. it's something i've gotten used to after a while like going up to a recreational gym but mm. there was this one girl man like she did not just stop staring at me why do people stare the... so openly though i don't know dude but like she was staring at me so like i just turned around after i did my set and i just said heavy and then she just she laughed and then she, <laughs> she went on with her stuff i was like I... she kept Staring at me though. I guess you just wanted to see what was going to happen next. Speaking I guess, dude, but it's irritating. I mean, because like it's my form weird. is still developing, so yeah. it's like there's some eyes that I don't want looking at me that are going to be there. Stop it. <laughs> I mean, because if it's like a coaching experience, fine, that's whatever. You have someone oh, look at you, that's oh, what they're there for. Yeah, but yeah. What, what were you gonna say, Ruka? Oh, oh no, I, I was, I was just, I was just kind of thinking, like, um, I was gonna ask Amy about something regarding staring because i know in japan they tend to stare quite a bit if they just if they see something unusual or at least yeah but i never got stared at but my when i was with friends i got stared at mm, mm. my tall caucasian friends well, that would definitely stand out <laughs> mm -mm. yeah because people wouldn't just from like walking by me if people don't look directly at my face then i don't mm. stand out in a crowd in japan mm -hmm. Yeah, Unless they like look directly at me, you know. Yeah, I th I think I th I think I was the same way, just because I kind of blend in. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, mm -hmm. but I have been mistaken as Japanese before, even though mm -hmm. I am nothing like Japanese. Mm. But yeah, I'm. I, I, th but, I think for the most part, they're just curious, right? They're just curious. Yeah, at the gym, that seems like at the gym. Watching other people working out seems like creepy to me. It's it is know. bizarre. Like there are certain gyms <laughs> where that like that's just the norm. You do that because oh, people really? are looking at like yeah, like specialized gyms. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of people oh. that like they'll just they'll watch you because they want to see either sometimes you these people compete against each other. Sometimes they're just very uh rival what like how do you make an adjective out of like being a rival? Yeah, um they're competitive? competitive, I guess. Competitive, competitive thank yeah. you. There you go. They're just suit they're competitive. And like they want to have a good time out of it, so they like you know poke and prod at each other along the way. Um, that's fine, but like this is not that kind of environment. Oh. Yeah, it's, um, it's just a normal gym where you go to work out. Yeah, this is this is a, a recreational center. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. And like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want anyone looking at me when I'm sweaty, or when I'm like doing uh. like very long stretches. <laughs> Some people are into Anything, that. Just you know. so. <laughs> well, I guess it, I guess in a gym setting, it's a kind of. It feels like you're being a creeper doing it, but I guess I'm, that person didn't I think, think so. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, they just like thought go, they were watching you. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Like when I when I go like in a gym like this, I got used to it because people weren't around as much, 
And I was just like, I've got this entire area to myself. Oh, yeah. I put my, I connected my Bluetooth to the speakers. I mm -hmm. had like the whole room. And now like, there's nine people in this room at one time. And nobody knows yeah. what they're doing half the time. Okay. <laughs> nine lost souls. <laughs> but that's just my, <laughs> my ranting. That's yeah, your rant. Yeah. I I like how you reacted to it. Heavy. <laughs> Just heavy. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least it was enough to to get her off your case, I guess. No, she wasn't. She kept looking. I just. I'm oh, really okay. Because like I'm, I'm used to that. Okay. I'm used to that kind of stuff. I'm used to it, but it's not the point. I shouldn't have yeah. to. Yeah. Mm. No, no, no. That's yeah <laughs> no like if you had been staring at her she probably would have gotten angry at you. oh she definitely yeah, probably would have yeah I, I i guess it's a double standard too i don't know maybe this uh, yeah i think it probably is but what about you ruka what have you been up to in the past three weeks uh let's see what have been what i have been put been up to mainly mainly i've been just trying to do work um oh yeah yeah as and also what do you call this I've just been exhausted. This, this, at least this past week, I've been mainly exhausted just because of the amount of stuff we have to do at work. It's like, it's not like a physical exhaustion, though the physical exhaustion mm -hmm. does happen when I go home because it's so hot. <laughs> but yes, it has been so oh, warm. Like I, 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 gener I generally like the heat. Okay, I generally like the heat, but okay. gross. when the <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> when when the car has been out in the what do you call this? Out in the like open. In, in the sun. In the yeah. sun for a while. Uncovered. Uncovered. I, I well, I mean, there's like a slight shade, but still, it's the heat penetrates into the car. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. And. Once you get in there after being in the AC for all for all day, there's for me it's relaxing because I the in, it gets a little bit too cold inside the buildings. Um, mm. Sometimes, yeah. So getting into the heat thaws me out. But when you when the car doesn't uh, cool down fast enough after you thaw out, then the heat kind of gets you and makes you sluggish. You know. Mm -hmm. That's that's main that's mainly what's been happening. On top of the, are you, are you really a lizard? What <laughs> lizard? What? You need to buy out. <laughs> Actually, well, I mean, you could you could I mean, okay. I joke, I joke. No, no, no. But the, the thing is, I I I do like heat, and the oh, heat man. does um Jeez. does things to me. So, mm -mm. I. Oh man, I would prefer like the cold. Yeah, but the here yeah. the thing about the cold is when it gets too cold, I can't do a thing. Do you oh, do you like uh, like uh, stiffen up? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So calling so, me a lizard would actually be accurate in this case. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the swimsuit. Let me show you the other character. Okay, let's go oh, for cool, it. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go to the dorms and choose from the stable. <laughs> so like what I what I really one of my favorite things to do is when it's November here, December here, a little bit of January. Wrong character. Um, <sighs> that is like the ideal time to train outside because it's like it is so cold and your body gets so warm. You just start mm. steaming. You look like yeah. a literal Saiyan. It's so cool. A literal Saiyan, <laughs> really? <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, I'll take a video when it happens. Steam rising off of you. Okay. Oh, that's a very nice outfit. Yeah, I like this it. This is kind of like gothic Lolita. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I don't like the young ones. This I mean, is, this is a rabbit. Yeah, I prefer the older characters, but let's go with this one for one. I like this. Mm -hmm. I like the style. It's a. Uh, I like and, the gothic look. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I like that style. And oh, I, the bikinis. I yes. always yep. the bikini pictures. That's the, big oh, old you That's the one. You got it. You got it. Man, <laughs> if if you ever if you ever played um Azure Lane, it that's everywhere. <laughs> it's yeah. everywhere. Boobas are? It it's I'm not surprised. It's it's basically what it's known for. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. It's what it's known it's what it's known for. 
when I uh, when I was actually talking to my buddy about playing Mahjong Soul, he he wants to start playing. So me and mm. him are going to be doing a, a couple of practice games. Oh, nice! Yeah, I'm super excited. So he will definitely be wanting to get in on some of our yeah. games. Okay. And uh, he was like, "Oh yeah, that's by the same people that did Azure Lane." I was like, "Yeah, you know it from the boobs, the TNA, don't you?" He's like, "Yeah, <laughs> you can tell." <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, I, I used to play Azure Lane when I first started. When I first started playing Azure Lane, it w it wasn't really known for that yet. Um, but slowly as the game developed, it just kind of leaned into that more and more with the mm -hmm. skins. And so it, it's pretty much the only thing it's known for. The game itself is all right. It's not the best, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's a little grindy, I guess. At least for me, it was. Um, like it's it's a side-scrolling shooter. Is basically what it is. Side-scrolling shooter slash RPG. Oh, is it? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but this is by the same people as that. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, well, it's the same. Uh, not developer, but I. I think it's uh what do you call this? Like same publisher. Publisher, publisher yes, there we publisher. go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. they don't they don't de I don't think they developed the game, but they definitely published it. I have a, I'm gonna have to double check on that actually. I don't remember They're if they're in the business of cute anime girls. <laughs> Boys. Yeah, <laughs> that's how they make the money. They make the market. Well <laughs> well getting the characters themselves is not difficult. Like you can mm -hmm. you can farm in game currency and stuff and it's pretty easy if you if, uh, to, to get them basically uh but the skins is where they make most of their money from and you can and you can guess where overwatch made a lot of its money from yeah and you can uh -huh. guess why that's all it's also a uh, thing with league also league made a lot of money from mm -hmm. their skins yeah they make a lot of money off skins mm -hmm. they do. that's why you can make a free-to-play game mm -hmm. okay yeah. yeah it's not it's not actually uh, made by Yo by Yostar. It's uh, published by Yostar, made by uh -huh, someone else. Okay. Yeah, I just need yeah, to make okay. sure that. That makes sense. Okay. And yeah, they're, they're, just... they're just publishing games that might have a similar audience <clears throat> that likes cute anime things. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, uh, I'm not sure if you've heard of this game. Arc Knights is also another game that Yostar mm. publishes, but it's a completely different aesthetic. It's more. Oh, okay. It's more of a. Oh, what's, what do you what do you what do you call that style? It's more like a um, gothic Eldred horror. Tactical, tactical. Oh. Uh, like, tactical. Yeah. It, well, it's like tactical. futuristic tactics. Uh, like techware. There we go. Techware. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's mainly techware stuff. Uh, as far as the outfits are concerned, mm -hmm. uh, and also. But are there still boobas? There, of course there are, but okay. <laughs> of course there are. But the thing is, I'm just making sure, okay. It's there are still there are still boobas, but they're also still uh, but they're also <laughs> they're also guys. They're also guys. So if you're a husbando oh. collector, there's all that's also a thing. Okay. Not husbando, as much, yeah. not as much, but it's it's definitely present. Mm -hmm. Dude, so like in my American bison. Hey bison, what's up? Hey dude. In, in one of my discords that I have for um, one of the mangas that I read, it's mostly ladies, and they absolutely love talking about the fighters um, uh -huh, and, uh -huh. and that they like. It is, it's so cool. It's what? funny, too. Yeah, what Discord awesome. is this? It's a it's Kingan Ashura. Oh, oh, wait. Kingan Ashura has a female fan base? What? Absolutely, dude. A dude, join... You want to get big really quickly? Oh my god! Uh, go to the go to them. I I don't I I'm, I'm not sure if I I'm not sure if I want to tap into that market. It it, it sounds very tempting, but there's there's you know there, there's expectations when you when you go into that kind of thing, you know. And it's those expectations I I'm not sure I can meet. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But like, no, yeah, I hang out with them a lot re uh, in the past like six months. I have been. Um, they're good. They're a good group of people. They're mm -hmm, super mm -hmm, fun. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Made some good good friendships out of them. Yeah, I mean, if we're talking about like husbandos or anything like that, there's definitely quite a few more. We people you know, who would who who would like 
fit physique wise and maybe personality wise. I'm just saying. Luca, but you have such a type though. Glasses type. Glasses oh. type. Yeah, gla a glasses type. Like me. Type. Like me. <laughs> you've got that. You've got that smart boy look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I won't deny that. That's <laughs> except. You, okay, okay. So, as far as far as uh, character archetypes go, though, what what do you imagine when you see a glasses type character? I mean, stereotypical blue Power Ranger. Yeah, it is. The tacticians. Stere stereotypically, how do they behave though? That's that's the thing. They're just smart. That's all. They yeah, I know. How do you, how do you have an air of them? Oh, but then the other guys in the group or in the the contrasting pro tags will be like cocky, you know. Mm. Whereas the smart boy will be more just like reasonable and quiet mm. at those times. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's typically how it is. But also, there's the scheming type. There's also the. Oh, are you gonna be on the on the villain side? <laughs> You're gonna be a bad boy. It does. Oh, it, it, are you it, gonna be a bad the scheming, the scheming type does not have to be in the, on the villain side. Okay, but I they guess can, so. they definitely can yeah. lean into that. They definitely can lean into that, like you know the scary shiny glasses kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. As w and also, um, there's also I'm not sure when you say aloof or just cold. There's oh, def there's yeah, there's yeah, definitely yeah. that there's <laughs> definitely that archetype also. Um, yeah. So it depends. I mean, glasses are versatile but there are certain types to it depending on which direction you go and also there's glass type characters that don't play any of those types they're just kind of like goofballs for the most part mm -hmm. <laughs> In terms but we're of talking husbandos <laughs> yeah <laughs> husbandos are like kind of more stereotypical like <laughs> there's always one of every type there's oh god what is it called um himbos himbos are my favorite you're basically a himbo <laughs> yes i know i know, I know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, it's a, it, I wasn't I wasn't trying to say anything by it. <laughs> no, I know, I know. It's it you are not the first person to call me that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What what is exactly Let me a let me read you, yeah. Let me read you the formal definition. The formal yeah. definition of a himbo. Okay. I definitely do not count as a himbo. <laughs> no. A himbo <laughs> is an attractive but unintelligent man. Just a bimbo man. It's a bimbo exactly. man. I always, I, I always thought bimbo was like a derogatory term, but I guess technically it's not. Bimbo well, yeah, is a derogatory bimbo term. Is, yes, it absolutely. means like a stupid In English, woman. English, at least. Who's but, like pretty, but stupid. But himbo... Or, or someone who just over-accentuates their looks. But himbo is not derogatory, so how does that work? No, himbo is actually a compliment. It's a portmanteau. I will tell you why, guys. I'll tell you why. Because it's for men. True that. Because Absolutely. there are so many derogatory terms for women, where the where the term for the man is not the same. Mm. True. Like, what's a player versus a slut? <laughs> exactly. Okay. Are they basically the same thing? No, I I, I feel like a player is also not exactly good though, but maybe not to the, maybe not to the same but it degree. It sounds better than being a slut it though. De it depends on how you're using <laughs> it contextually. Yeah. But like socially speaking, absolutely not. No. You would not call somebody a, um, or, or excuse me, like if you say a player, you would also say that like, yeah, they chase women and they're tactful about it. But when you call someone a slut, it's, it's, just you're, it's, you're, it's pretty you're, bad. Like, it's pretty bad. Yeah. It's a derogatory term. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. So it's like those true. terms that end up describing a woman will sound derogatory because they're meant to be that way. Whereas mm -hmm. when they describe a man, it could be a little bit bad, but it usually has a more neutral sound. Classes are fertile with certain fox. <laughs> hey Hogue, welcome. You may play Yakuza, but you don't but you don't know Mahjong, you just know Richie's got be careful with Richie's though. Richie is not always a good thing. Yeah, sometimes you want to save that. Pocket Richie. Yeah. Yeah, Richie's can Oh no, what should I throw away? What should yeah, I throw away? Session certain fox. Sexualizing men, that's okay, but sexualizing women, no no no. I guess there's a stigma about that for sure. Yeah. Though I I don't I think sexualizing guys is a little bit awkward for the most part. Nah, dude, because that's what fifty percent of the other market. I I mean yes, but how do you how exactly do you do oh, that? Because you don't do it the same way as you would do, uh, like, women. You know, 
I, f I feel like guys that fall. You don't do it in the same pattern. It don't, like you don't do the same, same pattern. pattern. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah. But I mean, like, it's still there. There's still a market. <laughs> yeah, oh, There's yeah. still a market. Feel, There's a market for anything. I feel, I, like, <laughs> when I do say, like, these kind of things, I don't actually think it's a good thing to objectify people, but mm -hmm. I kind of do, like, acknowledge that that's how you market things sometimes. <laughs> right, right, right. It's that means, evil. Yeah. There, there's, there's, there's a difference between fantasy and reality, okay? If it's just a fantasy, I don't think it really hurts anyone. That's just me personally, though, just saying. Yeah, I think, like, it can get weird with VTubers, but I think, like, it mm. feels better because... If, yeah, like okay, it does get weird because then you kind of end up crossing the line between. There is, and there, there is a, there is a line there, but a, a lot, of, a lot of people kind of expect that. I guess role play, if you want, if you, if you want to call it that. Ooh. -woo. Ooh -woo. Yeah, but um, the shirtless, sweaty <laughs> man is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but it's I, hot. Yeah, but it's hot. <laughs> it's shirtless, sweaty man with very defined muscles not overly yeah. muscular but not not you, like undertoned either when somebody says sexualizing men i instantly think of derek zoolander oh my gosh why why zoolander that's yeah yeah oh i do remember that God. movie i've i've remember vaguely parts of it but it's like why zoolander of all things well, Zoolander is like, okay, because he was a model. Yes. And like the point of a model is basically you are an object to yeah. be sold. Like, yes. You look a certain way. Yes. You act a certain way, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, um, but like the sexualization is just because of the, the poses, like, like <laughs> blue steel. Like all that was. Oh, yeah, it's all the same face. poses and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so. Ben Stiller is so like weird. Look, not yes. weird looking. He he is like oh, a no, no, no. He looks weird usually. <laughs> he, doesn't. He, doesn't. he looks so cute. He, he's adorable. He's adorable. <laughs> he does a bunch of parody movies. That's that's all. That's all I remember. But that's just that's why I see him that way because it is a parody, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, he's so cute, but like, yeah, his poses and everything are all, are all <laughs> like hilarious. And so effective in the movie. Blue Steel. Blue, oh, so Blue Steel and Magnum are the same face. What are you talking about? <laughs> and then Will, Will Ferrell in that movie was pretty funny too. Um, Mugatu what, what you... he played. Oh, oh, did he play? Did he play Mugatu? I don't. Oh, now he that you mentioned Mugatu. it. Okay. Yeah. He was in he the was weird the costume or something. He was in the weird costume. Okay. Yeah. It's just like because it's hot. Mugatu. <laughs> because it's hot. Oh my god. Yes. What exactly is this conversation, oh, yeah, Hope? Yeah, it's he ev it's anything. Him. It's anything that we talk about. So let me just explain. <laughs> let me just explain to you if you're just coming in right now. Welcome to the Mahjong Video Podcast. This is basically a podcast type show or type uh, program that we try to do here every two or three weeks, depending. Um, mm -hmm. But basically, we're just playing Mahjong and we're talking about anything and everything. That yeah. is basically what the podcast is about now we might mm -hmm. we might do some themes once in a while but we're just chatting basically and if yeah, you want to the old ladies sitting around a mahjong yeah and if you want to join us in the conversation feel free to comment in the in the in the chat also uh once we are done with a round you feel free to join us in the game absolutely that is i think that is our main thing that we want to yeah. tell people just because just because it's us talking here feel free to join us in the game once we actually mm -hmm. get uh once we actually get to that point yeah yeah we can oh, kick out the AI. On the and grass on the new keyboard new, new yeah keyboard, th his his keyboard uh died i think last week oh man oh, i'm not exactly how did you survive? i don't remember how that happened but how yeah did you survive? <laughs> How do you survive with no keyboard? You use your phone. You use your phone. Oh, uh, I guess so, yeah. I much prefer computers to phones, though. Yeah, true it's that. Faster. It is faster. Well, it's more optimal. And more optimal, yeah. You know, I think there was actually a friend of mine who, when they, <clears throat> when they uh, had, when their keyboard broke, they actually used an on-screen keyboard. It's like, how the heck do you do Whoa, that? Oh, that patience. 
Oh gosh. Much patience. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to. Unless it. There it, are. Mm -hmm. Unless it was like a touchscreen monitor, I wouldn't be able to. You know how some Samsung phones, or I guess all Samsung phones, have the keyboard where you just swipe though. Mm, you like mm. swipe your finger. Yeah. And then it'll like detect the word. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad with a mouse. It would be annoying. It would be. <laughs> it would be really annoying. Oh my gosh. I think I tried. I think I tried to look for a swipe program for that before, like when I was using a IME on on screen input, <gasps> and it just does not work very well. Oh, oh wow, I didn't realize you were that almost dead, Amy. She Everybody is. keeps taking my point. She got the monotot curse. No. Well, at least it's not you this time, because usually, because right? usually, exactly. usually you're the one that's on the on the bottom. <laughs> It's being rubbed off the on Yakuza me. Yakuza series through six, and I also got Persona Five. Oh hell Ooh, yeah! Cool, cool, the Yakuza cool. series is so enjoyable. I only have Zero and haven't played it yet, but I will play it on stream eventually. Zero is fun. Yeah, recommend. Yeah, I, think I played. I played one and two. Yeah, but I think I think a lot of people recommend going through Zero first, just because mm. just because that's where the story actually starts. I think. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's like a prequel, so you can you can do it after you establish yourself with the story or you can start mm. it from the beginning yeah it's like the uh what the star wars prequels i've only seen other people playing the yakuza games so i'm not sure which ones are which mm -hmm. but i know toto is playing one um... yeah she's playing seven seven. Oh, okay yeah, that one seven is, is the oh, sorry seven was, oh, was the saying... full no, ahead, full full, full, full rpg right Easy. Well, well, yeah, it's a different type of battle system, that's for sure. The turn-based. And, and also, it's a different character, because most of the other series, it's based around uh, Kiryu. Yes. And this one is based around a different person. Yeah. Mm -mm. I think and in Zero, you can flex your Mahjong skills. True, you can do that. Oh, nice. That was one of the reasons I learned Mahjong, is so Yay. I could beat, get my buddy's <laughs> trophies in Yakuza. Uh, Amy, you might want to check yourself really quick. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> I think one oh of these boy. days I just need to grind um, the normal Seven tables ju just yeah. to see how far I get. Just to evaluate myself. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it. But I don't want that to be like, oh hey, I am saint level. I I, I must play really good all the time. No, this this is pure <laughs> dumb luck most of the time. And plus, you we're not to get a, an Elo rank. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't want my. I, I don't want my Elo rank. I don't want my Elo rank to. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, define who I am in in, in the Mahjong games. <laughs> fair. That's fair. <laughs> but who really knows what your Elo rank would be? Right. <laughs> uh, I don't know myself to be honest. I don't uh, see. I think back in Tenho, they have like, I, th I, th I think, yeah, oh, ten Tenho.net, yeah. which is the other uh, Mahjong site before Mahjong Soul mm. was a thing. Mm. Uh, they, I think they had like ranks one through nine and then one Dan, two Dan, three Dan, something like that. Yeah. Oh, so it was like a uh, it, karate. It's kind of like, a, it's, they kind of ranked themselves like karate too uh, over mm. there. Mm. But um, here, were the were the lower levels um, reverse numbers? I think they were reverse numbers. I don't remember. You, usually, they are like in eagle and stuff. Like you start with like Q with nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and mm -hmm. then when you get to Don, then you go one, two, three. It's probably it's probably similar. I just it's I haven't been there on there for like over ten years, so I don't remember. Ah, uh, I, yeah, I see. Mahjong, don't understand, just random stuff. Yeah, I mean, th it's that's one way to play it, but then if you want... You're absolutely right, Hog. <laughs> I mean... You, you, you can't really control what your hand is, for the most part. Correct. You, you just but go... You can be a guiding force. It can be a very good... It, it's a guiding force to what it can be. Mm -hmm. I know... I know another... Um, friend of mine that was doing a mahjong challenge i think earlier this week and they were trying to force a yakuman it's like dude you're, you 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 don't force a yakuman it just kind of happens 
You can try. It's not. It's probably not going to happen. You just have to set yourself up for it for when it does happen, though. Yeah. It's like whenever you see the potential for 13 orphans, like, OK, let's see if we can actually get a 13 orphans. Half the time it doesn't mm -hmm. it doesn't fall through. But I have discarded 13 orphans before. I have too. By accident. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, it's more. Like, it's a tile thing where you like first draw into it, like yeah, your opening yeah. hand. So. It's like you get your opening hand doesn't look like anything, and then when you discard all the honors and end tiles in t in in the game, it's like oh, I just discarded a whole eighteen, uh, a whole thirteen orphans, but I would have never known I would I would oh I would God. get this until now, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know. <laughs> I kinda oh away 13 orphans. God. Dead. 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 Amy. Yeah, I, th I think. I think Amy's new skins is giving her a deep buff. I don't know about that. Oh, <laughs> They're cute. They're cute, but better, it's a debuff. I better go back to my main character. Use whatever skin you want, Amy. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go back to Your my character. Your skin does not yeah. define you. All yeah, right, ev yeah. All right, everyone. So we are finished with another game. So if you want to join us, uh, Actually, there is that join option, uh, the join command in the title. So if you haven't played this okay. game before, that's also fine. It's also fine. There's also this is a good way to learn by beating yeah, your we'll butt. Be you. you will. <laughs> That's not true. I'm accepting for all. You're accepting for all, sure. <laughs> I'm. I know. I, I may make fun of you, but um, I'm a mahjong shark. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the act, I'm just. I'm just glad uh, we're not actually betting anything on this one. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, speaking of which, I would. I would have taken. I would have taken all your money by now. Speaking of which, I also need to get oh some water. God. Sorry. Yeah, I, I'm gonna get something too. Let's wait here in the room. Dope. For one sec. It is both a browser game and a mobile game. So both. Yes to both. It is not gotcha. It does have a gotcha for characters. But uh, you don't have to do the gotcha. The gotcha is purely, what do you call this? Cosmetic. Yeah. It is purely cosmetic. This is, ba the Mahjong Soul is basically a regular mahjong game where you can pick what your character looks like that is it <laughs> that is it uh, do note though if you want to use anything apart from the two default characters you get which is the cat girl and the onisan you will have to roll so if all these characters you see right now on the in the room we uh, we all have rolled for those characters we all have rolled for those characters. Yep. Some are more lucky than others. <laughs> for sure. I'm going to check my character names. Just right. one sec. All right. Uh, Javi. Since you're here, I'm going to go get some water really quick. Yeah. So my one character that I was playing before was Kavi. And then the second one I played is named Ayako. But now the character I'm playing with is Sara. Sarah. There we go. Like this. I want a different outfit for this character, though. Okay, I'm back. Hi, hi. My dog created another hole in the fence. Really? Yes. Is Ruka Taking back? Under? No, no, no. She tore down the <gasps> fence posts. Really? Yeah. She has oh very God. strong jowls. What? Wow. So now you have to nail it back up there? So I, I turned the fan. Sorry, guys. I just turned the fan in my room. Let me know if you actually hear it through the, um, through the channel. Hmm. Hmm. Or in maybe in Discord, maybe you can hear it because uh, things in Discord are a bit more unfiltered. Mm. But... Monotalk was just saying that his dog tore a hole in the fence. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have to pay or is it an earnable role? No, you have to pay. You have to pay. I think if you get any 
uh, premium currency for free. That is very, very rare. It, it is their only way to get money, so they're not going to give that to you very easily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I, I said... Luca missed the dog news. <laughs> uh, what about dog news? Yeah, my, my dog put a hole in the fence. So I think I think Brandy's going to get her real quick. How did the how did your dog manage that? And what kind of dog do you have? It's a pit bull. A strong dog. So that answers both questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so give me two seconds, guys. I apologize. No, that's problem. perfectly fine. That perfect. is very understandable. Oh, doggy. Do you like dogs? I guess they just want to be free. Do you, you like you do you like, like do you like animals or, or anything like that? I love animals, but I'm a cat. I like dogs, but I prefer cats. Prefer cats. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not much of a dog fan either, just because I've had a bad experience with them. <laughs> oh no, really? Well, there we go. yeah, I'm a I'm I mean back where I uh, used to live, dogs are not pets; they are guard dogs. So, mm. when when you when when dogs are not treated like uh, how you would do pets normally, as mm -hmm. as far as in the West goes, so there's like in Asian culture for the most part, yes, there are some people that will take take care of cats and dogs like you would probably be used to in the West, but in general, they're not quite uh, taken care of very well. One and uh they dogs are tend to be more like guard dogs and if they get loose they tend to be a little bit more feral mm -hmm. mm, it's high aggression high high, mm -hmm. high aggression dogs so yeah yeah oh no our our dogs are completely domesticated 100 percent friendly kid friendly all that jazz. yeah so but yeah there is um are, were you saying ruka that you do not care for for dogs i mean i'm okay with with dogs but it you know those are even even the like friendly excitable dogs that will just jump up, up at you mm -hmm, i'm mm -hmm. i'm still not okay with that mm -hmm. yeah i have a friend that's one of the bad habits of Toph. she uh she'll jump up on people yeah i have a friend uh who has a it's not a pit bull um a pug i think it was a pug mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a little little one yeah they have they have a, they have a pug and that pug likes to bark and uh run up to people I'm still not used to it. She hasn't. Uh -huh. She hasn't uh, quite tried to bite me or anything like that. But once she's once she gets to me, it's like, oh, okay. So you're. Uh, this is you, and uh, we can. And then when she finally calms down, I can actually touch her just fine. Mm -hmm. But when that running up and meeting part, that's uh, always an adjustment yeah. phase for me. Yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Unfortunately, that comes with uh, excitable dogs. Yeah, mm -hmm. and also, so I also have neighbors uh, around here that have. It's always a small dog. It's, it seems to be always a small <laughs> dog. You know, that's apparently a huge thing because people just let small dogs misbehave, so they're more likely to misbehave. Yeah, because I don't notice that with like bigger dogs, like a golden retriever or a husky. Like they, they're mm -hmm. still pretty energetic, but. They don't like tackle you or anything like that. Typically, mm. most most of the time, most of the time, mm -hmm. the ones I've met anyway. Uh, but smaller dogs, they just kind of do their own thing. They uh, run wild. They will try to grab up your legs, and uh, I don't know. I, I I don't know dogs' intentions when they do that, so I'm a little wary of it. That's, yeah. kind of, that's how I am with cats. I'm I don't know what's gonna happen when I meet a cat because I'm not a cat person. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think cats though, for the most part, tend to avoid people, but they don't. They won't. Uh, what do you call it? They won't actively be aggressive against anyone unless you're like in their territory, so to say. You mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But I, for me, it was a bad experience with one of my aunts growing up. She had oh. a cat that only liked her. That's oh. it. Ah. She didn't like anybody else. So whenever we uh -huh. went to go visit my aunt, that cat was an asshole to me. Oh no! I can definitely see that. I mean, uh, cats have very specific personalities. Yeah. Yep. And you can't. All of my cats are so nice. 
Yeah, yeah dogs so, too, but at least you can kind of train dogs. Cats, uh, much harder. Whenever I, I meet a cat that I, that likes me, I'm like, I love this cat. This is a yeah. good cat. Mm -hmm. But then I meet the one the ones that that don't like me and i'm like this is a cat we're yeah. not supposed to like you know <laughs> a lot of the time it depends on the breed as well because different breeds mm. have very different personalities like oh, yeah. calicos have a different breed have a different personality siamese cats have a different personality mm. but pitbulls are uh nanny dogs actually this oh, is the same thing with dogs. Dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right i guess i'm gonna add an ai for now then yeah all right my first cat was my parents before i was like even born i think and mm. he was just aloof <laughs> and he just hunted and then you he would just like hang around the house and like you could pet him and stuff and he would sit on your lap sometimes but he wasn't hugely affectionate but then we got a second cat and that cat needed attention and wanted to be up on your shoulder <laughs> all the time which is common for certain cats too so that cat was it very it, it that cat was like please please and then you pick her up and mm -hmm. she's immediately purring if she's on your shoulder. I see. Yeah. And then our third cat was the cat like... Was bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of cats like the shoulder because it's like a really good perch for surfing the land, you know? Mm -hmm. They like high places. We... Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then we had another cat that would just follow my dad around. Um, he didn't like to be picked up though. He was like really big and heavy. Mm. Mm -hmm. But when my dad had a nap, he would sleep beside him. <laughs> very cute. So he sounds like a very cindery cat. A uh, what? A very cindery cat. He's like... <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But I guess so. I, I feel like a lot of cats are like that by default, but that might just be me. So certain cat, it depends on the breed. <laughs> so like... Not always just on the breed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to lay down with you, Baka. Yeah, Baka. <laughs> but I, he wanted to lay down with my dad only. <laughs> I, I feel like cats have a more varied personality type than um, most dogs do. I, that's just what I've noticed. Even with even cats of the same breed, may act differently. Mm-hmm. Have you yeah, had more cats than you have dogs? Me? Let me think. Uh, oh, yeah. I've never oh. I've never had a I've never had a cat. I used to have guard dogs. We used to have guard uh -huh. dogs. Guard dogs, yeah. We had really nice dogs too. But we also had what so like we had such nice dogs. We had one that was mixed breed that was like a really sweet dog. Um that looked kind of like a black lab. And then there was another dog we had that was a German Shepherd that was like really loyal and like, um, yeah. you know, would play outside with you and stuff like that. But then we also had one dog that was part husky, and that dog was kind of out of control. Like, <laughs> like, like very, energy. very energetic. Yeah, huh? <laughs> I it because that's a breed thing too. Because huskies are bred to pull sleds yes they are so they're, they're if, well imagine yeah, yeah. imagine you're like that strong and that energetic and then you just like are a house not a house dog he had we had acres we had like an acreage but still like we couldn't let him just run free mm -hmm. right, outside right. so you'd have to like have him on a lead and then like or like walk him on a leash and stuff so it's not like he was as free as he needed to be you know very but we didn't really know that before i think yeah. N now I can understand that as an adult. Ooh. Oh, that, that was the AI. Yeah! That was a good game. <laughs> That's um, one of the reasons that Great Danes actually make great apartment dogs. Is because they really? are so lazy. And they will just play They're just lazy, them. lazy dogs. Mm-hmm. Cute. But they're on so most cute. apartment lists, they're banned. Because they're big? Just because they're big dogs. Mm. Mm. Hey Twilight, my miasma, welcome, and thank you for the lurk. Oh wow! What's up, Twilight? Oh hi, Twilight. Twi Twilight's in your Discord server, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, just making sure. Because I thought my I, I saw that name. <laughs> my metal buddy. Yes, yes. Metal your metal buddy. buddy. Nice. <clears throat> but yeah, I think like um, 
if I ha if I were more active, then I would love having a dog. But my life is pretty lazy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think you. I think uh, dogs are definitely for more active people. Wow. Cats are definitely usually more indoors, but they if they like to explore, um, they can also be outside cats too. They can just do their thing. They do their well, thing. Cats will do what they want. They are okay, I guess. <laughs> My first cat would bring back squirrels for us. Oh. Poor little squirrel. Trying to take care of you. She's it's she fine. is trying to take care of you. Know, want this but <laughs> thank you it's like you can't you can't feed yourself so here you go you guys are pathetic <laughs> i got this for you <laughs> yeah there there is that thing where um i've seen you <laughs> there, there is that stereotype it might be real but like cats think they're gods and dogs are what is it what is like servants servants yeah that you're a god <laughs> you are a god yeah exactly cats yeah, are like yeah. i am a god <laughs> Cats are like, here, I better like give you something or you'll <laughs> perish. Yeah. No, I, th I think, I think the uh, one of my friends who has a cat, it, I don't know what kind of breed they are, but they're really this really white, fluffy, uh, white, really white, fluffy kind of cat. And mm. they don't act really spoiled. They just kind of like lounge all the time, though. Mm -hmm. and they're just relaxing <laughs> more of an indoor cat for sure i don't think uh, she's ever brought home dead animals uh, <laughs> but she is kind of like a mischievous kind of cat exploring the mm -hmm. exploring the house getting stuck underneath mattresses and stuff like that <laughs> getting stuck under a mattress yeah so if there's a hole That's under cute. if there's a hole under the mattress they'll uh Go in, go in it. Oh and she's That's done that before. She's done that before. It's like this That's is nice. Adorable, dude. This is nice and cozy. I, I I I want to just go in and <laughs> stay here. Oh shoot! I threw away the wrong thing. I've had I have never had a cat stuck in such a squishy place, but I've definitely closed them into cupboards before without knowing. <laughs> Many times. The, <laughs> Many times. Uh, the uh, what do you call this? The the mattress thing apparently is more common than you think it was because oh, really? there is a oh no there is there was a Dang. I think a Discord not Discord a Reddit thread about cats getting stuck in mattresses. Like there's an actual Reddit thread about that somewhere. I believe it. And a lot of people said just cut out the bottom part of the mattress so they don't ever get stuck down there again. Or put the mattress on the floor. So that mm. never happens again. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it because I guess like the bed frame has a gap that the cat can fit through or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, I see, I see. You have to put like a box frame under it or something. It's a box frame, it. yes. It's a box. Actually, not the mattress. It's a box frame. I keep forgetting there's they a. Get, they get into the box frame. Oh my yes, God. they do. Yeah, it's, I, I keep forgetting okay. there's. There, I keep forgetting there's two parts to a mm. bed, the mattress and the box frame. Yes, they get into the box frame. That's what I'm saying. That's oh what my I'm thinking. Gosh. So they're not squashed because they can like. You're welcome. They're still. They're in a box. <laughs> You got a sumo on one, on one character. I am just you taking points from back. <laughs> You're, I, I'm starting to think the skin theory is uh, holding water. <laughs> because, 12, because Amy is uh, doing... She's balling now. She's, now I'm doing so much better. Yeah, she's doing better without the new skins. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Cat in the closet one time in the garage at times. Nice. Uh, in the garage. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. that's bad. Definitely close cats in the garage before. That's not. It's not well, fun for the cat. Scary. It's not fun. It's not fun for the cat. Yeah, it's scary because they can get under the car. And also, the garage can get very hot, or very yeah, yeah. or very cold. So mm -hmm. if you don't hear them, oh boy. Oh my god. They're gonna be mad at you for a while. Yeah. Oh guys, speaking of trapped animals, mm -hmm. this, is like awful. this is awful. This is awful. We always try trapped animals. But I, so I have three fish tanks, and mm -hmm. I okay. In one of them, I know, like I know exactly how many fish I have of each kind, and I couldn't find one of my fish. I couldn't, 
I was counting two of three of this certain type of fish every day for a couple days, and I was like, oh my god, where's the third one? Um, and I like looked under the decorations to see if they got squished under there, and then it turned out that one of my little catfish was behind, like where the filter is. Oh no. They like so, that area, like, actually. It's like a very small space, you know, but like, I don't know how, I guess it's survivable because you're just in a little prison. I was about to say, was he okay? He was okay, but you know, he okay. looks pale or something. I don't know. And I fished him out, but he was terrified. But yeah. eventually I got him in the net and then put him back in. It was probably just a nutrition thing. He's He's been starved in nutrition for the past couple yeah. days. Mm. That's what and I would I think. feel so bad because I had been searching like in the main tank, but I hadn't thought of the back because it means that he might have jumped. There's mm. like a wall between that back area with the filter. So he would have had to Ooh. jump out of the surface of the water like an inch. Which Ooh. they can, which they can. So huh. somehow he jumped out and then landed in there and then was just trapped. No food. Interesting. I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't have thought crazy. I wouldn't have thought that to happen, to be honest. No, I wouldn't have thought they that. Can that jump. Happen, yeah. But that, that makes sense. Well, I have seen a couple yeah. fish jump out of the uh out of a tank before, but you you have th these are smaller fish, right? They're small. Yeah, there's yeah. tiny catfish, but if you feed them enough, I guess it can be big catfish. They they just go very speedily. They dart around so fast that potentially they could like leave the water. And betta fish can jump out of the water too if they gain enough speed. Oh yeah. What kind but, of fish? Yeah, betta fish. Betta fish, the Siamese fighting fish. Oh, betta, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Or it, a lot of people would say betta fish. Yeah. But um... Betta, yeah. <laughs> betta. Yeah. But uh... It means that he probably bonked his head on the lid. Because the whole thing has a lid. <clears throat> the lid. It means, like, he, there's no way he did it without bonking his head and then just, like, falling down. So <laughs> I'm really surprised that he's still okay. And when I say he, I mean it. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. It's, fish genders are kind of difficult. Yeah. Unless they start. Yeah, they're strange. <laughs> yeah. Unless they start yelling ye it. gender, but other ones, I don't know. It's like they gotta start laying eggs for you to actually figure out what they're doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Boom. Thank you, AI. Ah. Oh. oh, I scored, finally. Better the robot than me. Ooh, it's dead. Yes. True. But at what cost? You're still... Well, you're not last, at least. I'm not last. <laughs> no. I got points this time. Wow. The AI is in the negative. <laughs> nice. <Fuck> AI. <laughs> it, 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 so it is it is the AI's lot. The poor AI. Okay. We do have uh, room for people if you want to guys if you want to join everyone. Let's see, how yeah. far are we gone? We can probably do like one or two more games. So yeah. Good, because I've got I've uh, I've had three beers. Uh-huh. Perfect. <laughs> three, you had three beers and what? And, and I said I've got three left. Oh, you got three left. Yeah. Three it's, beers it's and a hour. very light beer, so it's this. This is nothing. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, would you, Monata? Would you consider getting another type of pet, or is your dog enough for you for the most part? Currently, my dogs are, are enough for me. Oh yeah, more than one dog. I would like to get a. Honestly, I would like to get a pet turtle of some sort. Mm, turtle. Cute. Mrs. Monotok will not let me. We went to a oh, a right. reptile show actually, where they were selling little little cute little baby alligator snapping turtles. <laughs> but she was like, "No, you cannot uh, make it big." Maybe not uh, the snapping turtle. Okay. Maybe not the snapping turtle. The snapping turtles. I, I'm, yeah that, that like, you could get I, into I like accidents tortoises. tortoises are pretty cool too yeah but ideally if i could if we're talking about unlimited type of potential yeah i don't mm -hmm. want a big fish tank with like two or three sea turtles oh. yeah. sea turtles are my favorite animal yeah i'm pretty so. sure i'm pretty sure sea turtles would also be illegal to keep <laughs> absolutely They're so beautiful that's why you just go to a nice aquarium to yeah see them. yeah i mean I think even land turtles, the tortoises, 
main I mean, I guess they're okay as pets. On your, it, in the U.S., it depends on the state. It depends on the state. Oh, e oh yeah. Each state will have different <clears throat> laws to their exotic animals. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, that some... Did y'all see on Netflix the that the Tiger King series? Oh, I saw the thumbnail. <laughs> no idea. What's the Tiger King series? Tiger King series follows, like, this, this guy that documented a bunch of... Uh, of him keeping big cats essentially oh my gosh. Oh. it was wild so but certain certain states will not allow you to have like those kinds of pets because yeah. for good reason them, sometimes they become invasive sometimes they're just too dangerous mm -hmm. but it just depends like there's a certain type of um what do you call it a certain type of tortoise that actually lives in florida that it is illegal to take it anywhere else in the in the states because uh it is an invasive species oh. an invasive tortoise that's i wouldn't have heard, i wouldn't have thought of that yeah but no they populate because oh like think of reptiles like they they lay clutches of eggs so mm -hmm. if like one reproduces creates you know just even five or let's say five <laughs> survive from the clutch yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm watching a, a reptile like show on YouTube, like one snake, one python laid 42 eggs. Holy crap. Yeah, like that's even a, if a quarter of that makes it, that's one snake replacing. Oh what? my gosh. 10.25. 10, yeah. 10, 10 babies. Yeah. Dude. I, mean, I mean, if you think if you think about the, the reason why they have so many eggs is because Typically, a lot of them don't survive in the wild. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. That's why it's, a, it's a chance of survival. <laughs> That's why it's like if even twenty five percent of it makes it. Yeah. That's still you know. Even ten. A large e even of ten percent make it. That's still. Even ten percent. Yeah. Absolutely. That's uh, still a good. lot of turtles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so cute. There's a lot I'm of turtles. I'm assuming they become invasive, invasive because they go to some other area where nothing eats their eggs. Yes. And then now instead of ten percent mm. of their eggs, they have like. 20% of their eggs survive. They're mm. either th either their eggs or their young once they finally hatch. Yeah. So you know you or know one like one be. kid they find they find it and then they they allow it to breed. Just that kid taking care of the the tortoise's mm. eggs and like just unknowingly increasing the population that way cuz if you take if I mean, like, you take it out of predation. If you take an animal out of predation, like, it increases the chance of, of having those eggs. Kind of like the situation. You can go, like, into an area where there is no predation um, and allowing it to, to populate. Yeah. Like, if yeah, that turtle gets to have its eggs under your shed. <laughs> right, yeah. In your I, backyard. I think that's why there's so many toads in my backyard, dude. <laughs> I secretly think there's a pond underneath my shed. An underground that's pond. All of them chill during the day. What'd you say, Ruka? An underground pond. In An your underground shed. pond, yes. <laughs> well, it makes me... Every time I see creatures running under the hedge, I think of the secret of Nim, where there's like an ah. entire <laughs> kingdom, you know, living in this one bush. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Goldfish are... It is so like with uh, the insect world. It is. Mm -hmm. Goldfish are invasive species, are they? Are they really? Go normal goldfish? Or are they domestic? Wait. I'm or are they like koi? I'm not exactly sure, but if you uh I'm kind of thinking like mm. In Japan I saw koi just in the canals. So because... where Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Because they are so hardy. They're strong. Are goldfish kind of oh, yeah. are goldfish related to carp? Yeah, I think so. They're just really sense. they're just really small carp, I guess. And uh since I live near the Mississippi River, we have an invasive species problem with the Japanese carp near me. You really? Really? They're, so, they're yes. so strong, you guys. I am not surprised to hear <laughs> that. I guess someone decided to just let them loose in the wild. That's probably not the best thing. Yeah. Monotok, you should collect them and put them in a pond. Absolutely not. I will go nowhere near these things. Are they that? Are, are they that? Are they that strong? Well, no. It's just they're. they're I don't want to deal with the powerful fish. <laughs> <laughs> they just. I don't know. Like, so my dad's friend also has a Japanese wife who has like 
koi in a pond. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, like, they have the money to have, like, a pond and a tank and stuff like that. And they usually brought them in in the winter, because he here it's quite cold, or in my hometown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But one time they kind of, like... So now they, they got rid of them, but when they wanted to get rid of them, they thought they would just leave them outside, which sounds horrible. I would just, is. I would just, <laughs> I would just uh, put them on the grill. That's what I do. Oh my god! <laughs> but anyway, they, they survived under the ice, guys. They survived. Some oh, of them wow. under the ice. They're I mean, strong. there's a lot, there's a lot of fish that survive under ice. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put yeah, an AI. Ice yeah. fishing something. Yeah, I mean. I yeah, there yeah. are fish up there, up, up north, up in Alaska, and up in the vast wilderness of Canada, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Canadia. But I was surprised, because these are, like, ornamental fish, <clears throat> but I was surprised when I saw them in the canal in Japan, too, so... <laughs> they're beautiful, Beautiful. But that doesn't mean they're delicate. No, it doesn't. <clears throat> and they're greedy. <laughs> They will the eat. The they will eat anything. They will eat anything and everything, <laughs> just like catfish. Catfish, yes, they're bottom dwellers. <clears throat> yeah. Though oh, I, my little catfish. Very carefully. Though I, I do, I do like eating catfish, though. Yeah, fried catfish. Oh, yes. I also I make. Uh, like. It really doesn't taste much of anything. It's just meaty. Whoa, 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 Amy! You've never had catfish. I don't think so. Are you serious? Because well, I'm we, in the north. I'm in yeah, I was Canada. Gonna say, we cool. eat salmon. <laughs> yeah. You get your fancy fish. We get Pacific salmon. <laughs> Smoked salmon on Smoked a cream cheese oh bagel God. on oh a little tomato. My Homie. God. Homie. Yeah. I want to eat it now. <laughs> well, I mean, as far as catfish is concerned, though, catfish is just meaty. And. Yeah. Meaty. That's really that's really about the only defining trait of a catfish is. Yeah, it just it tastes like white fish. Okay. That's that's the easiest way to put it. But it's <laughs> but it's big. It's kind of ch it's fairly cheap. It tastes good fried. I also make uh, curry out of catfish, so that's that, that's another Ooh. thing. Catfish curry. Whatever we fry ours, it has to be cornmeal. I don't oh, I don't use any breading to on mine. It on the outside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cornmeal would be so good. <laughs> That sounds so southern to me. It is a southern <laughs> thing. It's it's also probably a where's where's the where's the state that does a lot of corn? Iowa. I thought I Iowa. Oh Idaho. Nebraska. I'm thinking I'm thinking Idaho for potatoes. Okay. Well, Nebraska is also known for its corn. Okay. Yeah, I, I keep for it's it's that uh what do you call this the grain belt or what, whatever you want to call it. That does mm -hmm. that has a lot of uh, the wheat, the corn, the potatoes. Oh yeah, it's like the agriculture thing. I yeah, don't know what it's called. It's it's up there though. It's up there. Mm hmm. <clears throat> but I would love to work on a farm if I could have internet connection, like a good internet connection, to work on a farm. Do it in a heartbeat. You probably you could get a decent could one. Satellite, satellite. A satellite internet is. <laughs> I, I think satellite internet's uh, kind of spotty, from what I heard. Yeah, uh, yeah. I want, I, I want established landline connection. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. My download speeds are important to me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think download speeds were everything, but now to me it's like I want a good upload speed, and I cannot get it around uh, this area. I should have yeah. moved. Yeah. I should have moved when my lease was up, but um. I, I'm just a little too comfy right now, and I just got a new job recently, so I'm trying to build that back up right again. So mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, I, I, I don't I don't get fiber in this area. I have cable, but cable upload speeds are crap. The download speeds are okay, but the upload speed, which is kind of what you need for streaming, is not great. Yeah, we we have fiber here, but. It took like within the last year for us to get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I th I think we were so, so Google Fiber I think uh, came into town years ago, but mm. only part of the town has it. And my part of the town, supposedly AT and T came in, I think. 
but for some reason it's not in this area so i don't know how they're deciding where to build stuff i i don't understand how where where all these how all these uh lines get built they've they've got weird maps it's it's so it's bizarre how they do it it they is bizarre it from like a an aerial view oh, no. even from an aerial view it doesn't make sense it's like why pick this neighborhood and not go to this other neighborhood where businesses are but these people will pay you so i don't know this is just one of those weird things but yeah catfish is great I like catfish. <laughs> uh, catfish. Catfish. If you I just love that transition so easily from like, oh, this internet's god, this is garbage. Catfish is great. I, I actually used to be able to do that a lot more back uh, back in the day, where I would have we would have like two or three different threads of conversation, uh -huh. and one that would get that would replace each other, um, like really really quickly. And like five, like 10 or 15 minutes later, I go back to the previous conversation that probably everyone else <laughs> forgot, but I seem to remember quite well. Mm -hmm. um, but no. <laughs> what are you talking about? Depending on the comedic timing, it can be used quite effectively. I don't even do it as a comedic timing. It just, it, it's just like, I want to finish this thread and it hasn't been done you yet. Want to finish this IRL thread. I want to finish this thread. It hasn't been closed yet. <laughs> Man, I did not start getting into, like, internet forums until, like, a year ago. Oh, really? Oh, really? Really. Yeah. I was not one to be, like, an internet person mm. at all. Mm. But I don't know what it is. It's just fun, though. I think... Yeah. I, get to say whatever I, want. I think I started yeah. whenever the internet was still very young. And... Old man. I don't... Yep. I don't remember... Old man, Ruka. I don't think I actually looked for it specifically it just kind of happened i don't know mm -hmm. how i don't know why i i didn't use them for years but when i was a teenager i used to and then i was on forums for like voice acting and stuff because i wanted to be an anime <laughs> voice actor and really? now look at me <laughs> yeah. and it's it's no, very hard dream dude like if it's be fun it sounds fun i would love to do a project yeah. like that again i've only done a couple of them but they're, they're so fun that's so cool. What what did you what did you do in the past? I played a dad. <laughs> it, you, you do have a very dad voice. Yeah. I, <laughs> that's why when the dude found me, he was like, "You're perfect." <laughs> so I, I did, it was oh, like ow. for a Pokemon dub or something. But um, and then oh, I, I tried really? out for yeah, and then I tried out for a couple of voices for a. I think. Oh, what Morrowind? Okay. Oh my god. Game, uh, like playing an orc, playing a like a, an elf or something like that. But yeah, like I, I would love to work on more voice acting uh, projects. I just I haven't networked myself enough mm -hmm. to do it. Yeah, that's the tough part, isn't it? Just mm -hmm. it's I'm, like very difficult even, to break into. Even getting in on micro projects, so. Is, is um, just like yeah, you get I used that to just do ones with little like little projects people had done on the forum you know mm -hmm. it would be the equivalent to like if a bunch of vtubers got together to do a little play or something like that you know hold on hold on which we should definitely yeah. do <laughs> teach did you go on gaia no no okay really okay, okay. Is that a is that a forum you used to go on or is That's, that a game? No 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 no. That is just a very famous forum. <laughs> a okay, very okay. famous forum, huh? Yeah. Okay. I was on a really small one called Flava, <laughs> which sounds so funny. Flava. But Flava it was a Flava. very minor one. I see. I mean, that's what a Discord is like now. It well, was yeah, like... essentially, yeah, it's just a forum. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Discord is, I think, more like uh, it's a messenger app. Compared to, like, you know how AOL Messenger used to be, or MSN, or Yahoo. Mm hmm Or... Well, it's got those potentials as well, Or Trello, I guess. Just turn it sideways, <laughs> it just looks like a forum to me. Yeah. Well, like, the way that a community server works is also different, I guess. I think, yeah, that's true. I that's think true. Reddit, though, is closer to, what do you call this, an actual forum. Though it doesn't mm -hmm. quite function well i mean it functions the same way but it's not it doesn't it's not built like what a 
old school form is like. It's oh, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, it's like. But the concept's the same. The concept's the same. They're all just different versions of the same thing, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the form uh -oh. that I was on was more. Yeah, I see. I, than I see Reddit, it. You, you know? see it? Okay. I see it. Uh oh, the bot. Yeah, it's the it's the fun one. That's the one that you got last time, or someone similar. You know, thank yeah. you for the talk. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was uh, that was actually in Toto's. Like, okay, so last last time we got together, that same night, Toto got raided, and I got oh made into God. a moderator into her. Oh my gosh! Uh, I should probably stream. I should probably do to that to you. Fight, fighting. Yeah, actually, we all need to have some mods. I think to like just be ready. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The more people well, as, can, as like, a streamer, it's, it's good to have. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that sucks. What happened? Like, did a bunch of um. So it was a bot. It was bots just yeah spewing a bunch of uh, homophobic epithets. Oh god. Uh, so over and over in the chat. So we ended up banning all of them, and mm -hmm, Toto got mm -hmm. it mostly taken care of. Mm hmm. But it just sucks because like she yeah. had to purge all of her followers. Mm. Oh no. So Yep, so everyone had to refollow her and Take that you know, AI. That's, that sucks, a, that's dude. a pretty like, big hit actually, because a lot of people is. wouldn't have as, known. As a small indie VTuber, absolutely. Just mm -hmm. just small uh streamer in general. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Cause that's that That's a lot, but Luckily, she has a, a really great community built. Mm -hmm, a lot mm -hmm. of people, she she got her subscribers, or not her subscribers, excuse me, uh, followers back. Yeah. So, and and she grew above what she was. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. Well, hopefully, something will destroy them. Well, Somebody. There uh, are people trying to develop ways, I guess. And the the thing is. I, I, wa I wasn't sure about how to go into this topic. We were kind of talking about it before stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've, I've, been, I've been trying to figure out things, whether I should stream in YouTube or Twitch. I'm kind of leaning on both right now. But the point it, why I want to get to is Twitch is making it very hard to justify streaming here. Especially with all this stuff that's been happening recently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know how, what do you even, this is just me coming from YouTube. So my perspective is a little bit different from people who started in Twitch or mm -hmm. at least uh, stream exclusively to Twitch. What do you guys think about the situation and what do you think can be done about it? That, I mean, if, if it were left to our own devices, what can we do about it? Uh, I guess I'll go first. Yeah. Um, so I like Twitch for streaming and I like YouTube for videos. Which is so, typical. Like, yeah, because I've never really gone to YouTube for streaming before, but I didn't know that uh, YouTube is where a lot of the, yes, thank you, is where a lot of the uh, VTuber stuff is. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's where the big names are, at least for that's where the big names are. Where the big uh, Japanese companies are. Let's let's make a what do you call this a uh, distinction for that? Because if you're thinking about big English VTubers, you can maybe you're so thinking. Unfortunate. Well, there's there's V Sojo. If I'm not sure if you heard of them, Iron Mouse. You mm -hmm. may have heard of that. You may have heard probably Project Melody. That's those are two big ones. And Trya also, I think. Uh, the only one I'm really familiar about is Iron Mouse and Melody for the for the most part. Um, but I don't know any of those. <laughs> yeah, but but anyway. Um, but for other types of live streaming, though. For the most part, yeah. Uh, for, other than VTubing. Other than other than VTubing, which I, is basically where people Twitch. go. Yeah, because that's, that's what the, Twitch it was, it was. Yeah, that's what it was built for. It was. Uh, it's for or for people to stream like whatever they well not whatever they want originally but mm -hmm. it's become something um where people can stream you know whatever they need to yeah so i i just always separate the two so i don't know about y'all mm -hmm. 
Like to me, they're separate as well, just because、um, I consider like live TV to be much different as well from the dramas that I like to watch. You know, where every episode is one hour long. You know, and I can watch them all on Netflix. Like Netflix, I don't expect live streaming, and same with like YouTube. I usually don't think of it as live streaming. Right. Yeah. But、Facebook. if I want that live experience, then I go somewhere else to like some other platform. It's very difficult to what do you call this?、Um, if you're just trying to look for live streams on YouTube, there is a way to do that. But most people don't go to YouTube to look for live streams, which makes it、mm-hmm. difficult to start there. Uh, uh, live streaming, because no one's really going to find you unless you told them to go there to begin with.、Mm-hmm. Which is something I've had to come to terms with over the past year of streaming over there. But on Twitch, you kind of just you know what this is for.、Uh, though the discovery discoverability debatable is debatable as for、uh, from the streaming standpoint. Mm-hmm. But I think most, what how most people I feel like go to ca- diff- certain categories and that's how they watch stuff. I don't know. As a viewer,、mm-hmm. or at least people, or at least、uh, for people who use Twitch more often, how do you find other、um, people to watch? Do you go through? Do you do categories? Do you just see who's recommended? How, how do you typically do it? Uh, for me, I I go through.、Um... I usually find people who stream on Discord.、Oh. So that's unusual. So if I、okay. if I join a, a a specific Discord, it'll join. It'll like have that little purple icon, and then I I look through that. And if they turn out to be a good streamer, I'll follow、oh. them. Oh. Mhm. That's why、I've、like I always go through Discord like that before. Yeah. Um. I don't. I've never really used Twitch that much for、mm-hmm. like looking for specific. Uh, content. It's it's usually like I just try to zone in on the more <laughs> or what I've established already, and、mm-hmm. then like branch out from there. So if I hear a streamer that I already know recommend another streamer, I'll go check them out, and then、mm-hmm. I'll follow them that way or, or such. Okay. But,、um, That's not. It just a... happens like a like a, a, a like a bunch of tendrils go out. You know what I mean?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not a that's not a path I expected to hear because usually I think.、Mm. I think usually what I think of、uh, Twitch viewers in general is like they like a certain game. Let's say competitive games are very popular.、Mm-hmm. Um, they would look for. They would probably go to Twitch to find players that they want. They want to watch, and they have a Twitch channel. That's kind of how you find them. But how do you find other people playing a certain game? Like let's say a game just came out, you know nothing about it. You.、Mm-hmm. I guess some people will go to YouTube to see if anyone's done a review, gameplay review,、yep. or if,、Absolutely. or if they, or if they want to, or if they want to、um, see it played live, they would go probably go to see, go to Twitch and see if anyone is, else is playing. I don't know if anyone、yep. does that、I、kind of、so. thing. I think so. I think people might. <laughs> But that's just、um, my guess. When I think of things I watch. Run! Double oh, run! Oh, oh wow!、Run. I haven't seen that、nice. in a while. Wow! Yay! Take that AI. Negative twelve thousand. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! But uh, like for me, I would go to the game, and then, and then based on thumbnail, I guess.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like I, like that thumbnail is a glimpse of what you're going to be staring at for the next two hours. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's got to pull me in initially. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I I missed that part. Thumbnail where? So oh, usually I, saying... I go to the game first. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I think I think he was talking about you. Go ahead, dude. Um, I look at the game first, and、mm-hmm. then I look at thumbnails. Like on YouTube,、and、Twitch. On Twitch. On Twitch. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I if I'm looking for something specific, then I go to YouTube and search for it. Okay.、Mm-hmm. But if I'm just looking for something to watch on Twitch, I go to games that I like. For I go by game mainly,、mm-hmm. and then I start judging based on what I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I prefer My... to go in channels that are like not as huge. 
whenever but whenever I, I want to watch a game be played, like and I want it for the story, I have a specific a uh, couple of people I watch on YouTube who do no commentary, only gameplay. Mm, yeah, and it's so nice. I d I do understand that because uh, usually, sometimes, uh, well, I mean, it's it's that old style of let's play from way yeah. back when, where you, if you just want to see gameplay to see how it yeah. actually plays. Yeah, because I watch that stuff for the storyline. Yeah. I don't like mm -hmm. if I want to watch somebody play a game like I like or a competitive game, I'll go to the what's up guys, how's everything? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think for the longest time before I would have I, I would actively avoid those um videos. <laughs> those actually people. I would actually I actually avoid those videos because I don't I didn't want to hear people speaking, but now we're in this thing where streamers are everywhere. And, yeah. you, and you do have those kinds of it's a different kind of viewing experience where you're actually watching not necessarily the game though that's part of it but also watching the reaction or how mm -hmm. the how the streamer is mm -hmm. handling nope. the game i think nope. that's i think that's the main attraction for streamers is you can interact with them you can see how they they handle the game but not necessarily pay attention to the game Though, yeah, that's that, why, though that is part of it, but, but not I the biggest part. I watch games I've already played. I, I never watch mm. games I've never played. I watch people play games I played a long time ago. Because mm. I get into a nostalgic mood, but I'm like, oh, I've already played this game. Like I can't waste time playing it again, unless it's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then when I'm feeling nostalgic, then I'll like search for somebody's let's play. Or, or stream so that I can see what they think about the game that I love. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, that, you know, I've, I've actually I've actually been thinking about this since I also kind of like to do unique games, but a lot of the unique mm -hmm. games don't really I'm not I don't want to say they don't have an audience. There's always an audience for that, but yeah. it's usually very niche, very small and mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of people have not never played it before, so it's mm -hmm. difficult for me to try to figure out: Do I play this thing or do I not? Do I play it because I enjoy, it or do I play it because I I want to attract more people? I, viewers, yeah, yeah, yeah. So tough. I've a part of me would think that like as th th this is just my perspective. Yes, go ahead. I I would much rather want to establish myself on games that I would want to play <laughs> mm -hmm. to set the tone how my stream was going to continue mm. on. It's like I'm not necessarily going to play a game that's just big because it's big. I'm going to mm -hmm. play it because I want to play it. Does that make sense? Yes, I yeah. I do, and I I, yeah. I take that same stance also because a lot of the popular games or at least games that are popular to stream. So let's just forget oversaturation. What else can you add to that, though? Yeah. Are you are you doing it just to yeah. pull people in? Um, like, like the people that could play eight hours of Among Us. Like, <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh game. my god. I, I I can't. I can barely even stand thirty <laughs> minutes of that. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. You'd be uh, so Among fun Us, to play I, Among Us with. I'm so bad at it. I'm I, I'm bad at it. Did we talk about Among Us before? I feel like we, we did. did. We probably have. Yeah. <laughs> we did. But anyway, let's let's just recap. I'm bad I'm bad at it because uh, <laughs> my def my de my defense whenever I uh, whenever someone accuses me is very flimsy. It's like, oh I, I was just going through comms or something. And mm -hmm. let's it's say not convincing. it's not con it's not convincing, <laughs> but that's the best I got. Whether or not I actually did something, it that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not I did something, that's all I got. It's like I can't I can't tell you without enough evidence. Like I didn't do this because I po I I don't know this timing. I don't know the routing. I don't know how to get from a point A to point B. It's like I, there's a there's a lot of uh, at least these days probably or at least maybe people who specialize in Among Us. It takes eight seconds to do this task if you do it perfectly, mm -hmm. you know. And some people stay a little bit too long. Are they actually messing up or are they just trying to look busy? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I, it I, definitely requires a bunch of situational awareness. 
that that kind of thing i don't of situation that kind of thing i just don't it's a little bit too much for me i'm, I'm just trying to go in to have fun not mm -hmm. try not not try to get interrogated even though that is part of the game kind of uh, like when we played uh oh what was it what did we play together it takes no we didn't play it takes two what was the other game we played uh we played a way out we played a way yeah out. a way out oh yeah 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 <laughs> And then your friendship was ruined. <laughs> Our friendship was ruined. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna spoil. We're not gonna spoil if you haven't played the game yeah. before. But okay, we better not talk about it too much. Oh, so I, good. Though. I mean, I, I, feel, I feel like it's been played enough to where people know already what what to expect. But if they're yeah, it's but, like, but it's if like they're talking not. about the Game of Thrones spoilers, it's like enough time has passed. Maybe <laughs> enough time has passed. <laughs> but if you never heard the game, like I have never heard of the game before I then, before yeah. it was suggested. It's like Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> But yeah, anyway, back to the streaming thing. It's like Should we put AI in here? Actually, we're kind of we're running up to two hours already. Oh my gosh! Look at the time. Yeah. We're running up to two oh, hours wow. already. So two I'm I'm I, I'm actually trying to limit the <laughs> these streams yeah. to two hours. Luca, go to the go to the shop. You don't have to or not the shop. Go what to shop? the summon thing. Summon thing. What yeah. about here? I want you to look at the character that I wanted to get. And okay. <laughs> where where uh where do I click on overview? It's in the summons and then there's uh you know like bamboo sakura but yeah. then it's like which one do i go to edition um oh summer mirage summer, summer mirage. mirage oh you wanted to get the one on the right the i wanted to get the glasses one yeah <laughs> all the girls Hana... all the girls are pretty Nino... cute mia hana Nino mia yes yeah but i couldn't i you couldn't the roll bookish her. character a very bookish, bookish character one. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have any info on her? I wonder. Let's see. Oh. Let's... Oh, sorry. I totally interrupted. Though you were saying, um, what were we saying about? Well, it's like what to what game? what oh, what what to, what to stream. How do you actually do that? Oh I, we, well, we, we, we first kind of went into that. What do you think about the hate raids and stuff? Yeah. What can you do anything about it? We can't really do much about it except control it but it it doesn't make a very convincing argument to stream to twitch with all this shenanigans happening so many shenanigans yeah. but, but i think it's 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 a small thing it's it's it's, a, it's not going to happen to everything it's, it's just not going that you can actively take steps to pro, or uh, to to mitigate chances of it happening yeah but i mean it's like trying to deal with that as well as just doing your thing on stream it's like chat is easier to deal with than bots that just come in incessantly without uh, control, basically. Because, I, I mean, I've, I've dealt with a uh, follow bot raid before on YouTube. Mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. And you can probably call them a hate raid also, but because... Oh. Uh, though it wasn't directed at, at anything specific, it's just a bunch of spam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And dealing on with that on YouTube was a pain in the butt because there's really no way to deal with it. I've actually had to, uh, what do you call this, end the stream early because of that. Because mm -hmm. I I couldn't I couldn't control it. Yeah, Twitch gives you more like tools, I guess, and more up like more control mm -hmm. if you know how to use it. If it you know how to use bots or like how to use your commands and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't think I had bots um, set up at that time, but even if mm -hmm. I did, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't have been enough. It wouldn't have been enough... To combat the other bots. It wouldn't have been enough to combat the other, other bots. There's the... The banning process. There's no, like, uh, automated system to do, like, banning, I think, or at least a script a script way to ban people on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like mm -hmm. Twitch's problem with the accounts is you can use the same email for multiple accounts. I think that's I think that's pro their pro first problem. The one in YouTube though, it's similar, but also a little bit different. On one YouTube account, you can make a bunch of different channels under one account, and those channels are the ones that actually will do the spamming. Spamming, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you don't ban the main account 
than the or at least all the channels and if you don't ban if you don't ban the email that originated that made those accounts they just won't go away basically oh mm. Send, uh, let's see, actually going to take a proactive response to the raid bots. Send email to Twitch advertisers. Yeah, I'm not sure how effective that's actually going to be, to be honest. If you, if it's just one person doing that, I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. You would, yeah, but I think a lot of people must be a lot of people are doing various things. So I guess we just have to like. <laughs> They're, a lot of a lot of people are doing various things, and uh, it's gotten on the news, so the bad press is already there. Oh, oh. Uh, though is it is the bad press enough to give an impact for Twitch to do better? I don't know. But that's uh, up to Twitch to find. That's out. up. That's up mm -hmm. to Twitch. That's up to Twitch to do. But my hopes right now, though, is just dealing with it the best we I can, as far okay. as streaming to twitch because i do kind of want to grow at least a, a, an audience in twitch in case the inevitable happens or maybe maybe not inevitable but the high probability that twitch might implode due to something i don't know you because i feel like you uh twitch is going to implode first before youtube does absolutely yeah twitch yeah. is much smaller than youtube this is why though um a lot of like really successful streamers say in their videos like you have to point all your viewers back to somewhere that's under your control like really we should have we i need a domain name you know for mm. example or my discord server is like where i kind of try to funnel people back yeah. or i just and i also kind of like mitigate my risks by having like Twitter, Discord, YouTube, and Twitch. So even if one of those things explodes or implodes, <laughs> you still like have your audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought about doing the Discord thing, but I don't want to manage another. I don't want to manage like a whole Discord server. So I'm still trying to yeah. figure that. Yeah. Trying to figure that out yeah. if I do do that. Hey uh, Ruka, I would be a Discord mod for you. You would. Yeah. I, I, don't, I, I would ask you to be a Discord mod. I'll, prob I'll probably even make you a Twitch mod right now, to be honest. I should make you I, guys my mods. I am on Discord more than any other place. Mm, 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 mm. It's just because when I'm at work, that's I just that's how I communicate with people. Even even my own wife. That's that's how we be communicating. <laughs> just through Discord. The, through yeah. Discord. I wish we, I wish we could use Discord at work, but um, it's it's not how we communicate. We use mm -hmm. Teams, Microsoft Teams. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. That sounds right. That's the corporate. That's the corporate. Um, what do you call this communication? <laughs> corporate Discord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just imagine using that with a bunch of um, people not used to that kind of environment. Uh, it makes things somewhat interesting. It, it makes them things somewhat yeah. interesting. It, they're learning. They 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 can use it decently enough, and they yeah. use it for their purposes. But it's not like you know, us um, doing it for all the other stuff that we use Discord for. Mm -hmm, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, like, at my work, we use phones more than anything else. Mm. Oh. That's how we communicate. Good old-fashioned telephone. Good old phones and emails, baby. Good old phones and emails. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when I was teaching, basically, someone would either email you or would just walk directly into your classroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's like okay, class is over. Time to ambush. When does the fax machine come in? <laughs> in when you go to Japan <laughs> as an assistant language teacher, that's when the fax machine comes in. <laughs> oh, I thought we were talking. I'm not kidding. I in thought Japan, we were talking about fax Japan. Machines are alive and well, guys. Really? Shocking. Yeah. It's shocking, guys. I, I don't know. Why? I don't. I don't know why they think fax fax machines are more reliable than. Well. If it I, doesn't make any sense, for that. <laughs> well, I, I guess emails can be hacked, but fax machines not. I, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm just trying to think of all the different yeah, ways. Yeah, grasping for straws, homie. Uh, yeah, they, they probably <laughs> are also. One time, I was required to send a fax for something, but it was like a personal thing, so I had to go to the convenience store to use their fax machine. That does exist. Use, 
Because that's the thing. Because you can thing. go to the fa you can go to the convenience store like Seven Eleven and use a fax machine because you may need it in your daily life. Yeah. Banks close, so banks close at three o'clock. <laughs> There's no such thing as using a debit card in Japan. You gotta use cash. <laughs> they're good. I think they're getting better about it though. The I think it's probably changed since 2017, but. <laughs> yeah, I, I think these days though it's not so much a debit card. It's more like a rechargeable. Hard. Yes. Yeah. They've skipped that whole phase of using banks for things. Because mm -hmm. I because I think the debit card and credit cards, uh, you still have to do the signature. And I had to, do, I had to sign for every time I use my credit card. And yeah. that slows things down quite a lot over there. So I think a lot of people would prefer to just use like a rechargeable card, like use their Suica or something, to yeah. pay for stuff. Mm hmm. So it's not it's it may not have it may not carry the same benefits as uh, like rewards on your credit card or debit card if you have those. Mm -hmm. But well, I think they're trying to point, push actually. they're trying to push push uh, electronic payments more. I was always told that like if you go to Japan and you go outside of any of the major cities to make sure you mm -hmm. always carry cash. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. One hundred percent. Yes. You will die with no cash. Have yeah. at least. Uh, two hundred, two hundred bucks worth of cash on you at all times. Yes, yes, yes. So two hundred bucks. So that's what two thousand yen. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand yen. Okay. It sounds. Oh, yeah, it sounds like a. It's, it sounds like a lot, but uh, that's actually normal. And even if yeah, you, yeah, yeah. and if you, even if you do lose your pocket, most of the time you're gonna get it back. Mm -hmm. Uh, your wallet. Sorry. If you, if you lose your wallet, you get, most of the time you're gonna get it back intact. People, knock on wood. Uh, people don't tend to steal. People I, don't I tend to steal wallet money wallet. from from your wallet. They don't tend to. Mm. Like uh, if you just leave your bag uh, on a table, let's say in a food court, and oh, leave, yeah. and leave yeah. it unattended, it's gonna be totally fine. Like no one's gonna bother with it. Yeah. The U.S. South gave me trust issues, <laughs> so I wouldn't be prone to do that. And you would be, you would be, like in Japan, the trust, uh, trust issues are, I, well, the trust issues are more of a social thing as far as mm -hmm. lose, losing the, lo losing the said trust issues. But uh, if you're out and about, that's not usually an issue, mm -hmm. for the most part. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Uh, but I think just like even during COVID times, though, I feel like cash must have had a huge change in oh, Japan yeah. culturally. Because they don't want to pass it around through the money. Yeah, because mm -hmm. before you could walk into like 7-Eleven and just buy your whatever with a hundred dollar bill, like equivalent, you know, like 10,000 yen. Yes. Whereas here you'd be like, people would look at weird. you funny. It would be so weird. But now... I wonder after the co after uh, COVID, I wonder if everything has changed completely. One would hope that they would actually switch over to electronic payments. Yeah. Because carrying it's that how inconvenient. It's it's inconvenient. <laughs> that's the that's the main thing. I don't mind carrying that cash in Japan, but it is very inconvenient to carry the cash. Period. So. Period. Yeah. Especially yeah. when bank machines close at like five o'clock, and then you're like, wait. You want me to pay with cash for everything, but you're closing my bank machine before I get off of work. Now what? <laughs> I don't think I've had that issue. <laughs> but yeah, but did you ever use a local your, Japanese your bank, though? Oh, really? But, like, but, but why, 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 would, why would that matter? Because all, all your accounts are electronic. Why, why would you need the actual bank to be open? In Japan? Oh, yeah, I don't know why they closed the machine. Like, here in Canada, the machines are open 24-7. Same. I, yeah. I, th I think they are also in t in the major cities over there, though. They do, mm -hmm. they do, they add, they add a surcharge uh, on certain times for, for whatever reason. Yeah. So nope. mine literally had a metal cover. You know those kind that cover, like, the, a storefront? You pull it down? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or, like, a, yeah, mine literally had that. <laughs> so I'm like, bizarre. yeah, yeah. So you're like, wait, where do I get cash? So one time <laughs> I remember, yeah, like, I was actually like really stuck 
trying to buy breakfast at the convenience store and I just had to like walk away without it because <laughs> I didn't have cash. And then actually the seven machine, the seven eleven machine, the bank machine there is kind of a general machine, yeah, which allows access to many banks and it's always there. Yes. However, they will cut off access to your bank and give you a message that says your bank doesn't allow transactions after like four o'clock. Which makes no sense. Which makes no sense because it's electronic. Why would you need the bank to be open? But but the machine was open. Yes. The machine. I was in the machine, and they just said no. They just <laughs> said no for no reason. So I like had to walk away with no breakfast. <laughs> That's probably why my withdrawal still worked because my it was before my, seven o'clock. Because or my whatever. yeah, I think that's why my withdrawal still worked because my bank was outside the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mm, Japanese banks yeah. are just like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, or it was before eight, I guess. It didn't work that early. Are they open on the weekends at least? Yeah, but it will close like at five still or whatever. Maybe it will close at different hours depending on the different days. That's so weird. Yeah. That is very bizarre. Yeah. I don't know why. And online banking, you have to go into the like bank and go through a whole rigmarole to activate it and it's like an extra charge and stuff. Hmm. But that was through like a small local bank, so Yeah, I I've I've I'm not sure if you've seen the Dogen clip where um Dogen was basically complaining to uh, wanted to close a bank, but they char wanted to charge a fee to close yeah. the account, and also uh, the outside transfer for the for the bank was more ex was cheaper than the local transfer or whatever that yeah. means. Like here in Canada, we have e transfers, so any Canadian bank will transfer money to any other Canadian bank for free. Mm -hmm. And what? I know you guys have Venmo or whatever. Yeah, yeah, we don't need Venmo because our banks will do free transactions between other Canadian banks. I think. Oh my God, I it's think. Like a, it's I think we get a charge for us to do it. I think it's we. Like I, really? I think we. Yeah, I think we get charged for it unless we're closing the account. Oh uh, no! It, but like to send money to your friend, like I owe you ten dollars oh. for dinner. Oh no, yeah, ten dollars for lunch. Yeah, we, we would we would have to use Venmo or PayPal for that. Yep. Uh, yeah, or cash. See, out. we just do an e tran an email transfer, and then they can deposit it into their bank account for free. Oh my God! It's like Canada cares about their people. Yeah, we also when and one other thing that like, so in Japan that would be like ten dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Actually, I, th I think I my just imagine. I think my bank actually has a split pay thing that you can do, but I don't know anyone that uses it, so. Okay. But. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, typically they do charge for a transfer like that. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to use like PayPal, Venmo, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway, I think we'll close at the end for. We'll close that out for today. Uh, we yeah. could we could definitely go on forever. <laughs> oh right. yeah. With that, uh, we'll try we'll try to remember what we were last time and see what we can do about that. Uh, mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any people to join us today. Would love to do that next time, hopefully. Yep. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. I'll see where we stream next time because I think we actually had more of a presence as far as people joining Mahjong on YouTube. So because of those, yeah, specific people who came in before. Yeah, probably. Now you have followers. Well, the th the thing here is, I w I, w I would have thought that the Mahjong Soul category would have some some people also dropping by just mm -hmm. randomly, mm -hmm. but hasn't happened yet or at least potentially nope. it could but i think it just is a luck thing too. it's it's also a luck thing yeah, yeah. this like is the first time i'll, I'll yeah. we, well we can try it again next time we'll see we'll see we'll try a few times but anyway thank you guys for joining us thank uh you. listening to us talk uh i don't really have any th closing statements do you guys have anything you want to say before we sign off here um uh, go out and be strong be strong, guys. Be strong. <laughs> be strong. How uh, how how much should we how how much should we be lifting to be strong? No, oh no, just strong mentally and physically. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Be mentally strong. Be mentally strong. 
just remember guys this frog can bench like 200 or something no the frog cannot bench darn near anything okay the frog can do some deadlifting deadlifting oh, 200 cool. 200 315 for okay that's that's a strong that's that's, frog. that's still pretty big that's still pretty big yeah. all right see you guys later thank you guys for watching and uh have a nice rest Bye. of your day everyone goodbye oh ending